Following World War II, George Foster made his way to California with a plan to open Dairy Queen stores. He had acquired the DQ franchise rights for California, but he was surprised to learn there were strict laws in the state protecting California's dairy industry, which prohibited him from using the word dairy in the name of the business. Instead, he decided to open soft serve ice cream stands under his own name. The very first Foster's Old Fashioned Freeze opened in 1946 in Inglewood, California. Soft serve was a hit, and George began opening locations across the state. Within five years, he had 360 locations, and the chain had become the first fast food chain to be established statewide. Foster's Freeze also started using the slogan, California's Original Soft Serve. Foster's Freeze quickly became known for quickly and conveniently serving up soft serve ice cream, mouthwatering burgers, and real milkshakes. The restaurant was a popular spot to hang out with friends or to take a date for a bite to eat. Up until 1951, George Foster had used a mix for his soft serve. Compton Dairy provided the mix, but that same year, George decided to sell the company he had worked so hard to grow for $1 million. The Mayenberg Milk Products Company bought the chain and began using their own milk for the soft serve recipe. Ownership of Foster Freeze has bounced around since that first sale, but over the decades, the chain has become ingrained in California culture. In 1964, the Beach Boys were so inspired by spending time at the local Foster's Freeze, they wrote the song, Fun, Fun, Fun. Many of these California locations have become landmarks and carry a classic retro flair that's been worth preserving. Through the years, the style of the restaurants have been maintained and they take you back to a simpler time. Through the 1980s, Foster's Freeze saw the number of locations decrease. In 1987, there were only 189 restaurants left. 1994 was an important year for Foster's Freeze. First, the location in Atwater Village in Los Angeles was used in the movie Pulp Fiction. Also that year, Foster's Freeze signed a franchise agreement with El Pollo Loco to sell their soft serve in all their restaurants. With the addition of 163 El Pollo Loco locations selling Foster's Freeze, sales increased and things were looking brighter for the beloved chain. Unfortunately, the number of locations continued to dwindle and in 2015, they had a new owner. By now, there were only 85 original locations still open, but they still carried the magic that made them popular in decades past. The Daya brothers acquired Foster's Freeze for an undisclosed price in 2015. Since then, its revenue has risen annually, and plans for expansion have been in the works. New, modernized restaurants are expected to open in Nevada and Arizona, tapping into the same supply chain that California stores are using. Not to mention, many Californians have moved to these states, and Foster's Freeze already has a good brand recognition. There is no doubt that Foster's Freeze brings up good feelings for those that have experienced the original vintage locations. If you are in California and need a bit of that old school nostalgia, a Foster's Freeze might be just what you need. Let me know in the comments your own memories of visiting Foster's Freeze. And while you're at it, let me know what your favorite menu item was.
If you enjoyed this video, check out the description for links that help support the channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching.